I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a cougar, also known as a mountain lion. So grab your mark making mediums and let's make some art. Okay, we're gonna start on our cougar drawing. First, we're gonna draw one ear. So we're gonna do curve line to a point, curve line down, and then we're gonna do the head. So draw out around to a nose, bring around, curve and up. Add a little nose and a cheek. Draw an eye, just like that. You can also add an inner ear and a little ear in the other side of the head, which will be smaller. We also can add some details, like some whiskers. Next, we're going to draw the neck and chest. We're gonna draw the front leg. And I like to draw paws with the letter C, so I'll draw three letter C's for the toes of the paw. Bring it up for the leg. Another letter C, a little bit farther down for the back leg, and then we'll go out, down, and we'll do another paw. Again, using the letter C for the toes. Okay, so now we need to fill in some other details. So we need to add the back the belly, a tail, and then finally we'll add two other legs. So we'll do belly, bringing it up, down for the back of the neck, a little arch for a shoulder, a nice sweeping curving line for the back of the cougar. A nice long tail. Curve it around. And then bring it back to the body. Perfect. We'll add some zigzag lines at the tip of the tail there. And now we'll do the back legs. So we'll do a curve line. Now these are going to be shorter in appearance because they are in the distance and we want to make sure they have the illusion that they're farther away. And we'll do another little paw here. Make it look like he's walking. And finally we're going to draw the belly. So that will be just some different color variation. And now we're going to draw the background for the cougar. First, we're going to outline some of these details a second time to make it bold and beautiful. So just go over some of your lines real quick a second time, and that's going to clean them up and make them look bold and beautiful. Let's do the landscape. First, we're gonna draw a nice giant rock or mountain top that the cougar is on. So just a nice wavy line that kind of goes in behind the cougar. Then we're going to give it an impressionist feel. So we're gonna make it artistic and this is not gonna be realistic texture. We're going to add layers of wavy lines 
to this rock. And when we color it, we'll color it with all different grays. Okay, so we'll add the rock. And then we're gonna add some trees. So I'm gonna draw three tree trunks and they're gonna be smaller in appearance from the cougar because they are in the distance. And also they're mountainous. Okay, so three tree trunks. Zigzag lines for our evergreen trees. Perhaps these are some Douglas firs. Great. And finally, we're going to add some of this lovely texture in these trees. So I'm going to split these trees up with some wavy lines. So this is not typical. This will create visual interest in your artwork because it's something different and interesting to look at. And once you see how we color it, it's going to look pretty fabulous. Great. We are ready to color. So grab something to color it with, whether it's pencil crayon or wax crayon or felt markers or even oil pastels. And let's get started on coloring. Okay, so I'm gonna color my cougar picture with a variety of mediums. I'm gonna play with both felt markers and wax crayons in this tutorial, but you use whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna do the background first, and then we'll do the cougar, so. I'm actually gonna color this with stripes. Pattern will create visual interest and rhythm in my background. In between these stripes, 
of dark green. I'm actually going to use light green in between. So the pattern is dark green, light green, dark green, light green in my trees. And this is going to create visual interest and rhythm in my artwork. Isn't that looking great? Always remember when you are coloring to use one hand to anchor your page. I often move one hand around a lot and I use one hand to color. But you can see I spread my fingers, otherwise everything's going to move. So if you're finding that your paper is moving a lot when you're coloring, make sure you move your hand and fingers and anchor that paper to, paper to the table. I'm also going to do stripes in my rocks. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use my felt marker gray and a wax crayon gray, but you could always add some purple or blue to make some different color variations in your own rocks. And finally, for the bottom, I'm going to draw one line across and then fill it in. I'm going to find my gray wax crayon and I'm going to fill in those in between spaces. This way I have different values of gray in my artwork. And again, I'm keeping to that nice pattern that's being repeated. 
in my background. Perfect. Okay, let's do the cougar. I'm going to use wax crayon for that as well. I'm going to need a lighter wax crayon, a tan, and a dark one for the tip of the tail. sure which one I want to use yet so I'm just going to do a color sample. The way I like to do that is I just get a separate piece of paper and I just want to test these out to see what colors I would like best. I'm not sure which brown I want to use for the body so I'm just going to test it. Ooh, that one's much too orange for me. I think I'm going to go in the middle. So I think that's this one. Yep, we'll do that for the body. And that for the belly. And I think I'm going to use this for the tip of the tail. Okay, easy part first. We'll do the tip of the tail. And that's done. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the lighter spots. So I'll use this nice little light color for the inner ear, the cheeks. And of course the belly. And that's done as well. Now we'll do the whole body with this color and then I'm going to shade over top with the darker crayon. And then we do need to do that cute little nose. So uh, just a light shading of red there. All right, here we go. Grab your dark again, and we're gonna go on top of the two legs that are in the back. So we'll blend those two wax crayons together to make it a little bit darker. And you can also use it to shade around the legs, under the head. And just like that, your wonderful cougar or mountain lion artwork is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers! Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. 
see you next time.